This is a nice place we got here. But, you know, I'm ready for a vacation. Let's go. This place looks fun. Let's go. <laughs> Boy, it's been a minute since we recorded this, hasn't it? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Kirby's Epic Yarn. My name is Corcat13, that woman with the deep voice. And last time we left off, we finished up Treatland and did some stuff over here in Quilty Square. In this episode, we got a lot to cover. Summer is on its way, and what better way to ring in the upcoming season than to visit the beach? Let's start Waterland. Excuse me, uh, let's say that again. Waterland! Sounds badass. Alrighty. We got a night stage, that's interesting. I don't see that too often. You actually don't in Kirby's Epic Yarn. Night stages are pretty rare. Now watch out for those. I'm not really sure what those are. I think they're swordfish? I'm not really sure. These guys remind me of the Goombas you see in uh, Super Mario 3D World. You know, those Goombas that just kind of hang out and ride on their little raft. It's cute. I'm not going to bother him. He's not bothering me. Anyway, as I'm recording this, it's been so long that the next Kirby game has actually been released. And you know what? It's awesome. But I've already mentioned it in another LP altogether that I've already finished. So, yeah. What the hell? Were those platforms flying? And did they have, like, bug wings? That's just weird. Alrighty. So there's the moon right there. I guess that's Mr. Bright. I forget which one it is. Like, if it's Mr. Shine or Mr. Bright. That, uh... Oh, that's the moon. Eh, I gotta love that Waddle Dee. He just falls asleep. I don't want to change the environment right now. This is nice. Kind of fits when I'm recording, which is at uh, 3.25 in the morning. On April the 25th, 2022. Which is a Monday. Which seems to be my uh, de facto... Recording day alongside Thursday, because, you know, those are my days off. So, there you go. Whee! <clears throat> Sorry, my, uh, my thoot. My thoot's been all kinds of jacked up. You can tell I'm recording this um, on the night I had to work because my throat's messed up. It's actually why I generally don't record after work. Because my throat ends up getting all scratchy. And I just draw my weird remote again. Man, it feels so good to record another freaking game that's not on PlayStation. Although, something interesting happened. I say as the sun wakes up. So there's Mr. Shine. Um... Yeah, the HDMI output on my Wii U, yeah, it actually stopped working. I don't know why. Just add that to the ever-growing list of issues that we've had lately. Just by virtue of me trying to record a Let's Play video. It's dumb. It's so dumb. Anyway. Uh, the music you're hearing right here is Secret Island, which is a level... That is coming up pretty soon. It's a decent little level. Although it's actually probably one of my least favorite levels in this area. It's got decent music though. Gotta watch out for that fish there. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why Kirby was running to the left there. It's about as bad as when Raz was moving to the right in episode 2 of Psychonauts. I still don't know what that was about. I'm just guessing it was a glitch or something. I don't know. Like, I legitimately am confused, like, why that was a problem. We got a sun clock. That's awesome. Oh, God, that's not. All right. 
Get out of here. Get out of here with your bad self. Stabbing Kirby. That's just mean. Although, I think we can possibly redeem this. I did say possibly. Come on. Come on. Water level. Thank you. I like that the water level is indicated by just a little string of yarn. It's pretty cool. It's a neat little touch this world has. <clears throat> Man, my throat is messed up today, let me tell you. I'm trying my... Oh, I'm sorry, Waddle Dee. I was trying my best to, you know, not kill the Waddle Dees, but... And again, these aren't even real Waddle Dees. These are facsimiles of Waddle Dees. Created by Yin Yarn, so... Why should I care about killing them? They're not real Waddle Dees. They're pale imitations. I shouldn't care, but I do because they're Waddle Dees. They look like Waddle Dees. They walk like Waddle Dees. Boy, that got existential real fast, didn't it? If it acts like a Waddle Dee and walks like a Waddle Dee, then it must be a Waddle Dee. It's crazy. Although playing this game kind of just makes me want to play Yoshi's Woolly World. That's a fun game right there. Very reminiscent of this one, but a lot better. <laughs> it's a lot more difficult, for one thing, because, you know, Yoshi, for some reason, means hard. Because if you've played Yoshi's Island, you know how hard that game can get. Like, hell, even within the first world, and get pretty tough, if you're not careful. The second state... Oh, we got a moon clock, cool. What was I saying? Yeah, even the first world has a lot of hard levels. Like, by the time you get to the castles, holy crap. But then you get into World 2, and that's when shit starts really moving up. I mean, it's not an impossible game. I'm, like, I'm trying... I'm just saying that Kirby's Epic Yarn, or... Not Epic Yarn. That Yoshi games are just really, really hard sometimes. Although, from what I understand in um, Yoshi's Woolly World, um, the final worlds end up being kind of labyrinth-like. Which is really strange. I don't know why they decided on that. Or why they... Like, freaking Goodfield decided that these Gordos needed to be here. Ass wipes. We got the five-star patch. I'm a fan of the five-star patch. Alrighty, gotta watch out for these Gordos here. That's a fun name to say, Gordo. And actually, Gordos do appear in other Nintendo series. Like, I know there's one in The Legend of Zelda... <clears throat> Excuse me. Of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And they also reappear in... Um, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. I know they appear in, like... I think they appear in the turtle zone. Yeah, they appear in the turtle zone in the submarine level. It's pretty interesting. That game's just, uh... The Game Boy was just a nice crossroads, you know? It was like the original DS. Because, you know, it was. Kinda. I mean, it wasn't because, you know... That was the, uh, Game & Watch. Which, by the way, really clever... Um, the Game & Watch. I've actually played on a, like a modern Game & Watch. Pretty interesting little devices. Both a, um, a game and a clock, so there you go. You got the utility of both. It's pretty sweet. Now we dance. Booyah! <laughs> Okay, we are back. I'm thinking about just cutting out those, like, little in screens and stuff, because you don't really need to see that. But now, fling it! Let's see, we're only uh, we're about 11 minutes into the video. It's not too bad. I don't want this video to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short either. I forget how long the, uh, the other videos were. I think they were, like, somewhere between... 20 and 30 minutes. 
think 30 minutes is honestly kind of a decent, kind of a decent length for a video. So, anyway, got the chanting waddle to use there, chanting to their god King DDD. This is a decent little tune right here, Blub Blub Ocean. Yeah, those blippers really trying to hit Kirby, even though they have no ability to damage you at all. They're way more pathetic than freaking Cheap Jeeps. At least they hurt Kirby. Like I said, this game's soundtrack is so good. I listen to it all the time at work. Like, I don't know why, I just... It's just good music, you know? <laughs> I killed the blipper. Because I'm a bitch. Alrighty. So I'm around here. Disregard the coughing. You can tell I live with someone. Grab our first item. A jellyfish light. Hooray. That'd be pretty cool. Having a jellyfish light. Actually, I was... I uh, remember this one thing from... Uh... Oh, God. Freaking Gelectro's back. I don't like these things. These things are assholes. But yeah, I remember this thing from um, All Tomorrows, which is a story about post-humans. Really cool story, by the way. Take a lot of inspiration from those nowadays. Um... But there was actually, like, a post-human species that used um, organic technology. Like, they actually genetically engineered animals to um, do basically all the things that uh, human technology can do. Like, um, they had cephalopod televisions and, you know, that kind of thing. And that's really cool. I forget exactly what they're called. I think they're called the tool breeders. They kind of look like these weird shark dolphin hybrid things. They're really cool, though. Probably one of the more interesting subspecies there. And obviously, not created by the Q. Hate the Q. The Q are assholes. But if it weren't for the Q, the human race wouldn't have evolved. So, there you go. In a way, humanity did get to touch the stars. It just wasn't in their own time frame things. Anytime I see anemones in video games, I just I, I just squeal. Because I hate these things. If they grab you, you're stuck there for like a few seconds and then they knock all the gems out of you. It's really obnoxious. Get back here. Well, they seem happy about it. You know, they just seem happy about being an enemy. I know it's, like, for fun that people keep intentionally mispronouncing anemone, but I don't know, I find it kind of annoying. I mean, it's pretty easy to say anemone. I guess if you have a lisp, it would be difficult. But now, what's not difficult is swimming into this and becoming a dolphin. I mentioned dolphins, and there it is. We become a dolphin. Dolphin Kirby. Kirby will just turn into anything, let me tell you. Although, if I'm being honest, kind of looks like he's operating. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God, yawn. Got that yawn in there. Gotta have that. The more it looks like he's operating like a dolphin mech, rather than being a dolphin. Whereas Yoshi, whenever he turns into something, he looks like he turns into it. It actually looks kind of painful, to be honest. Poor Yoshi. Kind of makes you feel bad for it any time you turn Yoshi into something. Yeah, you like that? I can actually harm you, stupid anemone. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Hold on. Hm. There you go. Yeah, you can do tricks as a dolphin, because of course, if anybody was going to do it, it was going to be Kirby, who's apparently Flipper now. 
that's appropriate. Kirby is hunting down swordfish. Or, well, they're not relatives of the shark, but it kind of feels like they are. I just keep swimming through these and keep grabbing money. There you go. Now we are gold rank. Ow. Yeah, that's the reason I don't like those things. Anytime they're electro... Anytime they're energized, they're really annoying. Because you have to dodge them. Well, they kind of look like enemies that'd be like in the classic Mega Man games, like in the NES days. Honestly, I was half tempted to do a Mega Man 2 playthrough. I still am, but not now. I think maybe like... If I'm just having like... A time where I just don't want to do like a longer type video like Kirby's Epic Yarn or um, Psychonauts. And I, I I guess we could just do Mega Man 2. But anyway, plans for the future, plans for the future. And I am not funny today. Oh well, no one said I was. Yeah, you can actually dart through currents of water by spinning. Because, you know, dolphin. The power of dolphinness compels thee. There you go. I think Kirby maybe he automatically does that. I don't know. Anyway, that's what that guy can do. Ruin a perfectly good streak. Get out of here. Give my gym back. They kind of look like they're dancing. Like, you ever notice that? Like, sea creatures always look like they're perpetually dancing. Which, like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's just kind of funny. In a weird way. Alright, this part right here is kind of hard. So, gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, crap. Hold on. <sighs> Man, like I said, I don't... This part's... Ugh, come on, Kirby. Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. Right there. You gotta, like, dart out of the water, then do it. Like I said, I don't know why it took me a second to think of that, but... Oh, well. I actually almost didn't do this video today. I almost did it tomorrow. Or, I guess that is tomorrow. Or later today. There you go. Almost did it later today because, um, I don't know. I was kind of tired. After the weekend, I'm just drained. Which, I mean, if you notice, I tend to upload more on the weekend. Fucker! I'm trying to tell, like, little life updates, and you keep showing up, you piece of shit. Get out of here. Go on, beat it, you stupid-ass fucker. Alright. Let's see. I'm trying to... F Let me grab this. Oh, okay, so... Oh, I get it. Oops. Hold on. Kirby. Kirby. Hold on. We'll get this. Ah, there we go. All right. Cool. We're back in action. I mean, not like I was going anywhere with that thought pattern anyway. I'm just tired after a weekend at work. Because the weekend's always the busiest time. I mean, I know back in the early days I probably would have, but... Oh, well. Trying to get back on a regular schedule again. That way you guys aren't, like, starved for content. I know I always say that, but... I legit don't, like, go in so long without making content, you know? <sighs> Alright, this, this is irritating. I know they thought they were being cute for doing this, but... It's more annoying than it is cute. Like I said, if I was, probably if I were more awake, I'd probably be fine, but this, 
really awkward to do with a D-pad. Kirby, turn around. There we go. There we are. All right. We got an aquarium. All right, that was worth it. Let's see what's in these. Probably, um, probably a crystal star. Oh, sure. Now I can just do it easily, because of course that's how it works. You can plane for a little bit, and then you just do it perfectly. That's ridiculous. That is so redonkulous. These swordfish are redonkulous. And then we transform back into our beautiful Kirby selves. And we managed to get all three items. All right. Cool. And 21 minutes. Or 22 minutes, I guess. Uh. <sighs> I think we have time for one more level, so let's do it. Ooh, a hoop. Let's see what this does. Dolphin? Norka? A blue whale? Um, sure, why not? <laughs> oh god, we're doing that already? Sure. Add insult to injury. Why? I, I don't want to go in that level. Kirby. God, I hate water physics in this game. Like, this game has good physics. Don't get me wrong. It controls well. It's just... I don't like Kirby in the water. It's annoying. Because he keeps wanting to go in the door. Then again, that's just an issue with 2D games in general. So, Welcome to Secret Island. We get this wonderful music yet again. Has a very pirate like theme. Oh god. We got these things already. Well, you know what they say. You bite, you die. Yeah, I'm not holding back anymore from those fake Waddle Dees. How dare they try to replace Waddle Dees? There's only one set of Waddle I already made that joke. You're not funny. It wasn't funny the first time. Alright. Now we just climb. A lot of climbing. This is a very vertical type stage. And it's one of those stages where you gotta pay attention to everything in the background and stuff, otherwise you're gonna screw yourselves. So, I may actually fall silent for a little bit just to kind of figure it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. Yeah, like this, for example. I don't think you'd be able to get up here if you pulled the string, so... Hmm. Let's see. It's been a little bit since i played the stage. Like, I'm kind of playing blind right now. Like, a little blind. Like, not super blind, but just kind of blind. I think I just screwed myself. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I can try that again. That was dumb. Let's pull the rug out from under there. Now. We get a treasure rug. Hooray. That will look great in our room. Alrighty. And that, my friends, is how it's done. I seem to remember this stage. Like, this stage always gave me trouble, and I don't know why. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah, oh, yeah. I screwed myself here. I'm gonna have to jump up here, jump up here, go in here. Yeah, like I said, this... Don't go back in there. Ugh. Yeah, this, uh... The stage is... Very puzzle-focused. I don't know how I feel about that. Bye, Waddle D. Alrighty. Well, that was worth it. Destroying that Waddle D's life allowed me to grab that thing. Hell yeah. 
And I remember in Yoshi's Woolly World, they used to do this kind of stuff too. I say as if Yoshi's Woolly World came out before this, when it didn't, it came out after. And good feels like, oh, you have an issue with our game being too easy? Well, fuck you then. We'll make our game fucking hard. Nah, Yoshi's Woolly World, it's not too difficult. It's definitely a lot easier than um, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island was, like I said, it could be a pain in the ass when it wants to be. And as you notice right there, we just got a bronze. Yeah, this stage is actually pretty stingy with money. Notably because of all the death traps and stuff, so... Anyway, there's Waddle Dee right there. So now, we climb. Gee, I wonder what that is. We only have one item, too. It's crazy. Well, shit. Well, shit! There we go. Well, we unlock this little part right here. It should, in theory. Yes. Get out of here. There we go. All right, all right, all right. And that waddle dee ain't nothing. And we still get our money. Yay. Because, you know, money is always good. Face through there. And that looks like a giant bird. Could it be a dinosaur? Why, yes it is. It's an oviraptor. <laughs> How about that? Totem pole. It's a very cute totem pole. I like it. I like it. It's a very adorable little totem pole. Oh boy. This part right here. Got them balloon waddle -dees. Oh my god, this part so reminds me of Yoshi's Island. There's a stage in one of the later worlds that, uh... Holy crap. Like, heavily relies on you following these balloons and stuff. It, it sucks. Like, it's a cool concept, but my god, does it suck. Alright, now this part right here, just keep bouncing. Just keep bouncing, man. Don't fall off the waddle -dees. We got a gold rank. How about that? Back in the day, I probably would have only gotten a silver rank. Probably because I keep taking damage. So, this is a... Fuck you, stupid waddle -dee. No, don't insult the waddle -dee. <laughs> Okay, good. I was about to get mad there for a second. <laughs> Splash Beach. Kind of weird that we got the the secret island music before we got the Splash Beach music. It's very interesting. Okay, why isn't this stage? Did I overthink the stage or what, what what's going on here? This stage is actually a lot easier than I remember. And I played as a teenager, like, the first time I played Kirby's Epic Yarn, I was a teenager. So, I know this stage is a lot more difficult. So, I don't know why this one's suddenly so much easier than I remember. Hmm. Maybe I overplayed the difficulty a bit. Perhaps I overthought it, I don't know. Well, we didn't get much, but oh well. Luck of the draw, I suppose. Luck of the draw. Do 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 do. Boop. Oh, we got a heart. How about that? It would appear that we have a friend over. How convenient. Well, let's go pay him a visit, shall we? We got nothing better to do, and I have a lot to cut out, so. Don't go up the ladder. Fucking Kirby. Yeah, 
Now there's a line I didn't think I'd be saying. Fucking Kirby. Oh, whoa. We got two characters joining us today. How about that? So happy. Okay, that was totally worth it. No, I actually, um... Huh. I thought I could do, like, secret stages with them around, but I guess not. Well... Kirby needs friends, too, I guess. So, anyway... I guess that'll be it for this episode of Kirby's Epic Yard. Sorry I didn't have that much more to say. I mean, maybe I'll... Uh, have more to say next episode, because I'll be a bit more warmed up. But in the meantime, I'm going to let Kirby hang out. That was embarrassing. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.